Hey, babe, let me give you a call back. I'm, I'm, I'm making a video, all right? Okay. All right, I love you. All right. What you niggas know, know, know about that? Aw, uh, thank you so much. Can I tell you a secret? Promise not to tell, of course. I always wanted to get to know someone young and a little cutie like yourself. Someone who wasn't afraid to show an interest in me, even though our age gap is so big. Yeah, that's it right there. For any of you defending him in the chat, that's, that's it right there. So this goes without saying, and honestly, it underplays what I'm about to say, that things got extremely worse for EDP. I just finished watching the live stream, and honestly, I'm sick to my stomach. It is the most disgusting shit I think I've seen. It's so bad, honestly, to the point where I'm questioning if I should even read some of the DMs that the channel was showcasing during their live stream. And yeah, over the last 24 hours, I guess, to just keep you guys up to date, EDP's close friend, Felipe, just said he was going to be distancing himself and not associating with EDP at all and he showcased this in the two minute video. I have cut ties with EDP 445. Uh, I, I'm just as shocked as you guys are. Uh, trust me, like all what went on, all what happened, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. Um, I, I don't know what to say. I, I really don't. But I, what I do know is I just cannot be affiliate and associate with someone doing those type of things. You know, it's just it's just not me. And after that, the Predator Poachers channel have been sort of hyping up the video. We keep wondering when it's going to drop. This shit has sound like the best mixtape of all time. And they did a live stream this evening. Now, during the live stream, when I tell you that out of all the YouTube predators that you see guys get exposed for inappropriate conversations, in the DMs with fans or underage people. This is arguably the worst one I think I've ever seen because it we're, we're talking threatening somebody that you think is a minor. Like, yo, if this is a setup, it's gonna look bad. We'll get to that a little later. We're talking every single conversation that the Phantom 13 year old had with EDP. He's talking about jacking off, squeezing dick. They even went as far as to actually get a photo of EDP's cock. Yes, EDP sent video or a photo photo of him squeezing tip hitting that head which they did not showcase on the stream at all obviously because they're trying to abide by youtube's guidelines and i mean if you think that this conversation was bad just imagine it being worse than that that is the only way i can explain this entire thing and honestly i guess we're just gonna have to read some of these and you guys let me know what you think based off what we're looking at but i can confidently say after looking at this i truthfully believe that this is over like it's a wrap the shit is undefendable if there was even an ounce of doubt in your mind and at this point you want to continue watching then hey man this is one of those i wouldn't even tell nobody i was watching his content i would just do that shit in private that's how bad some of these dms look the first one we have here is wow it's so big yeah you like yeah lol so this is what is going to be going in oh my god this is what's going to be going inside you but i'll take it slow as promised babe okay good not gonna lie i can't wait to see that tight of yours wrapped around me oh that's hot and i think it's really sweet that you want me to take the v yeah i trust you you're cool and you're a great human my favorite human got me about to bust through the thought of me sliding the dick slowly inside you so like all the way not the entire way i'll slowly ease it in that way it's not too painful as it gets less and less painful i'll go a bit deeper and deeper oh i don't know it looks so big monkey eyes emoji oh it'll be okay baby i promise i'll go slow to the speed of your liking whatever you don't want to do i won't do but if you enjoy it and want it in all the way then i shall satisfy my princess now let's cut this shit off right here right because the thing that makes me like to the it, it, it actually makes me feel sick to my stomach is on his ig right he had videos of him hanging out with like i guess one of his female friend's daughters and i can't even look at any video or pictures where people have been archiving it because they're just like backing up and saving the entire channel because I'm gonna be honest with you this guy like we, we were talking about on last video that he has to worry about the channel being deleted nigga I think he has way bigger shit to worry about way bigger shit this is without an, a doubt in my mind that is like if there isn't like jail time off this I'm really looking around like wow 
I'm just being I'm just being honest. Like that's how bad this shit looks. It's not like oh you know maybe slightly risque conversation. I mean this is just disgusting and vulgar conversations all throughout the conversation log. I just screenshotted the stuff that I'm like okay this looks bad, but it was bro the lady was reading this for over an hour. That's how long they've been talking to this guy. Apparently they've been talking to him since February 23rd. So just put that in perspective. And when the conversations first started, probably shouldn't have no business being there. Showcase and guns there's even a video or a picture where he took a, a a picture of his literal fecal matter his shit and sent it like yeah i just finished taking a big ass shit and showed the the picture of the shit completely shouldn't be in the conversations but as it started to ramp up and i guess he started getting comfortable with the groom and he's like oh you know she's cool i don't gotta worry about getting in trouble or anything like this oh my god it's just the most disgusting shit i think i've seen easily but let me continue and then he said if you want we can try oral first i can taste and lick on the and then you can suck on my cock sorry if that sounded weird no it's hot the thought of your pretty cute and sassy ass little mouth sucking on me is incredible that is so hot can't wait to see how you suck on it i want to eat your pussy how basically saying i want to eat your pussy is like basically just sucking on it and licking on it Oh wow, that's hot. And like, here we go. I'm glad you got your Instagram back. Instagram deleted mine too, but I got it back. I don't know why they did that to me. Thank you, love. I appreciate it. What have you been thinking about? You don't have to be shy. Just about you. You make me happy and when you're not around me, I feel down. You make me feel some type of way I don't know. How about you? Aw, oh, babe, listen. I know your body is growing and you're starting to develop. That's why I agreed to this. I want to be your first little cute ass. And then we even have more confirmation of him talking about the fleshlight that we detailed in the last video. And um, he explains what a fleshlight is. He says, what it's supposed to look like a fleshlight, but with flesh inside. That's why they call it a fleshlight. It's supposed to look like a flashlight, excuse me. Then he said, I love teaching you about sex. It's so cute. Oh, that's the porn star it's supposedly made from. Her name is Alexis Texas. Oh yeah, I like learning from you. So you just stick it in? Yeah, pretty much. You're supposed to use a lubricant and make it easy to slip and slide out of. So it makes for easy insertion. The Phantom 13 year old said, what's lubricant? Is it like water? Yeah, it's like water, but it's really slippery. Of course, real vaginas don't produce lube. I personally can't wait to teach you. You can be my student and I can be your teacher. Well, I am a student, ha ha ha. LOL, I know you are, silly. I can't wait to teach you things they don't teach you about in school. Bro, jeez, bro, oh my God. If it weren't for the fact that YouTube is like so ass backwards now, man, I got something real crazy I wanna say. It's, it might be extremely violent, but I'm just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna dial back a little bit. So then as the conversations went on and it kept talking about meeting and meeting and meeting, I guess the day came of where they were going to catch this guy out in person and they started to set up the meeting. And I guess EDP, you would think it's conscious would kick in before then, but it only started kicking in when it's like, yo, there's a potential that this could be a setup. And he started saying things like this. Sophie, I can't do this right now. This isn't right. I feel so bad. Sophie started talking about cupcakes as a means like, yo, can you at least come get one of these cupcakes i'm sorry i feel fucking awful but i can't do this if we get caught i can go to jail for a very long time i put all the blame on myself i should have spoke up earlier then <laughs> this is the the most insane shit right the nigga goes on to say i'll see you at four i don't mean to scare you or anything but i swear on my life that if this shit is a setup on some backdoor troll shit or if police are waiting it won't be pretty so like i promised you i'll come you have to promise me this shit shit isn't a damn setup if something goes wrong here my ass is on the line are you there i guess he sent the phone call then uh the sophie account said hey can't talk right now grandma is still here and i i believe after this a couple conversations where they were like they coaxed him calmed him down a little bit saying hey everything's gonna be okay you can come through he then later said this it's okay i understand i know it's hard for you to completely understand where i'm coming from it's just the trolls on the internet have been trying to take my ass down for a long time and with you being very very young i just don't want this backfiring on and getting me into a lot of trouble i have so much to lose here that's why i was hesitant on initially coming and then the 
account said, I get it's just a cupcake. You can take it and leave. You don't need to stay if you don't want to. It's okay. I'll stay for a little bit. And then I believe that's where the meetup happened and the video that we're waiting to come out, which is supposed to come out uh, Tuesday morning is the one we're waiting to see. I'm going to be honest with you. I have absolutely no words. Like it's so fucked the entire thing that I really, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I really don't know what to say. This guy only started to worry about the conversation he was having with this person when it's like, damn, I could go to jail upon meeting up. And then the first initial message of you like, yo, shit gonna get real. He was making it seem like he's gonna go to the meetup with some firepower if shit went left. Like he was gonna have a shootout with cops. Like he was gonna bust back at cops. Ain't this Mr. Comply or die? <laughs> like what? <laughs> So that's the first thing. The second thing is if the Phantom account was a real underage person, this guy is more worried about what can happen to him and shit being shut down than what he would be doing to somebody's psyche. I'ma be honest with y'all, man. Yo, niggas like this gotta go, bro. And I'm gonna go ahead and call it, even though I kinda feel like I've been calling it as time goes on with this particular story. I think they're gonna do this nigga worse than Senpai. If you don't know the Senpai situation, you can check my channel. It's one of my highest viewed videos if you wanna go take a look at that. I think this is going to be worse than that. Just based off of, yo, the conversations are so vulgar that it actually has me mad at myself that I even had an ounce of skepticism, but you have to with a lot of stories on the internet nowadays. But it's just like the fact that I even had an ounce of like, yo, this looks bad. And this was the conversation they were sitting on. Oh my God. It, it's, and you're telling me they didn't show all the shit. Like they literally have photos of him solicitating and sending pictures of his privates. If you haven't had time to watch the initial stream, I really highly suggest you you take some time out of your day and watch it i kid you not when i say every single conversation at some point this guy is talking about pulling a dick out talking about sucking nipples like bro when he got comfortable he got comfortable bro every single conversation he was saying this shit in this is the most normal he's acting towards the end where he was going to go meet up and he was uncertain unsure if there was going to be a setup or not but before then it was like bro you could tell he had his dick in his hand as he was talking every single time i'm gonna be honest with you i get that some people like to separate the artists from the creator and they just like to be entertained this shit is if a nigga is able to turn off this aspect of his brain and just like ignore this then man you a different breed that's all i can really say this shit is undefendable this is undefendable and it's way more again the young lady was reading this shit for over an hour so you should definitely take time to check out the live stream on the chet goldstein channel when you get a chance we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here i i think it's done for edp i think the channels probably will be deleted um if somebody at youtube ends up seeing this and i think he has way bigger things to worry about than some channels going down like we're talking in my opinion i think the brother should be in uh, in jail off this that's just how i feel about it looking at all the information presented and we still haven't seen the actual video yet where they're probably interviewing him in person and talking to him about how everything goes just based off what i'm seeing nah son nah so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here as always if you could help out the channel by giving this video a like it will help me tremendously um if you haven't make sure you follow me over at twitter.com forward slash rmp kimpachi and also check out the patreon at patreon.com forward slash rmp with over 110 hours of additional content um with that being said i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one everybody have a great day and i will talk to you guys soon